Oh man, there's, uh, there's a cloak guy after me. So, did you run into any cloak guys at least by the time you got to Shanghai? Uh, I mean, Singapore. What? Did you at least see the cloak guys at Singapore? I I never saw the cloak guys ever. Oh crap! Oh. Some guy just ran up while I was hacking and just killed me. How rude! Channel Imperial One in Win Seven. Yeah, seriously, dude. I mean, kind of guy hack. <sighs> Channel, they moved off of Mac XP this machine. A lot of keypads to have there. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Okay. What the? Yeah. I couldn't hit Q on the guy. That was really frustrating. I'm like, I see him, so I'm gonna hit Q on him. And... You know what this? I think this is what it's missing. You know how in Batman Arkham Asylum you could just do takedown from cover? Yeah, I mean, also Splinter Cell and stuff. Yeah, okay, but Batman had had it like that one takedown though when you were hiding behind cover third person and all and a guy was walking like you're hiding behind a doorway and a guy's walking through the doorway and you just grab him and bring him down yeah I remember there's also a uh, double agent where he, he kind of karate chops their neck and then he bashes them into the wall And uh, Uncharted 2 does it. Yeah, so anyway, Batman's um, takedowns from cover were like almost perfect. And it feels really weird to not have them here. I, I get the feeling of, like I'm trying to pull them off and I'm failing. You could always just do um, one hit uh, blind fire with the stun gun from cover. Yeah, but if I've got a full battery, I just want to take him down, you know what I mean? Yeah. Access granted. The new samples are amazing. Definitely human, but peculiar. So my assumption is Adam is like some sort of super successful experiment. Don't stick that weapon in my face! What is wrong with you? Nice to see you too, Dr. Goldman. What? Wait a second. I know you. You were Seraph's security guy. <sighs> Way to protect our asses. Hey, check the attitude, Doc. I nearly died trying to save you. Oh, and now you're here to take me back. Well, maybe I don't want to go. Maybe I've got more here than I ever had in Seraph. Would Vasily Sevchenko agree with that? They executed him and dumped his body in a ditch. That's not true! Believe it. Unless these murderers have you so brainwashed, you don't mind building their toys. It wasn't a toy. It, it was a software upgrade that limits functionalities in a biochip. They told me it was for crowd control. Is Vasily really dead? You saw the body? What was left of it? Oh my god. I should have listened to him. Dr. Colvin, I need to locate the rest of the team. But Dr. Reed's GPL isn't broadcasting. She's in the secured zone. There are guards everywhere. Then I need a way to get the guards out. A distraction. 
Maybe a lab accident? What do you say? Jan, After what those bastards to did to Vasily? Of course. But one minor incident in this lab won't be enough. No. But if a couple of other labs go up... simultaneously... Declan and Eric! Oh. Of course. Interesting idea, Mr. Jensen. Ambitious, but risky. The timing will be critical. I'll coordinate the attack. But you understand that this could all backfire. I'm no shrinking violet, Mr. Jensen, but... there may be another issue. They're tracking your GPLs, aren't they? I've been wondering how to get around that. Smart man. Just like Vasily. He had a plan to shut down their tracking and jamming protocols using a virus. Maybe Declan or Eric know something more about it. Dr. Faraday doesn't seem to be working in this building. Any idea where he is? I think he's in the biomech lab next door. But you don't have to go outside to reach him. There's a skywalk that connects the two buildings. Maybe you can use it. I haven't yet located Eric Goss, Dr. Colvin. Do you know where they're keeping him? He's working in a lab on the third floor. There's an elevator that might get you there. It's on the second floor, though, and I heard the guard say something about that floor being shut off. But then again, with those neural enhancements of yours, you might find a way to get into it. Dr. Colvin, I need to know I can trust you. You seemed pretty happy to be here until I told you about Dr. Sevchenko. It's been six months, Mr. Jensen. Not long for you, perhaps, but how long can a person live in constant fear? Once they took us out of isolation, it just seemed easier to concentrate on the work. Did all of you feel that way? Vasily didn't. Maybe not Declan either, but the work we do here, the discussions, and the theories. I thought Seraph's projects were far-reaching, but the experiments I've seen going on here... It's the kind of stuff DARPA dreams up every day. Only without governmental oversight keeping you in line. I suppose I'm just a typical scientist to you, right, Mr. Jensen? Blindly pushing boundaries? No care for who's footing the bill or how our discoveries get made? We all have to live with ourselves at the end of the day, Dr. Colvin. You're right, of course. But were things so different in Detroit? We all know where those Seraph contracts came from, don't we? You asked me if you could trust me. You can. But you better get on with this. Okay, wait for my signal, Dr. Colvin. When your GPL starts to vibrate, set off the distraction. I understand. And... I'm sorry for what I said earlier. Okay, one scientist down. This also feels very Metal Gear. waking everyone up. Charge hey, battery. What
Oh. I quick save and right when I load, he somehow he automatically throws a grenade, which he didn't do last time. So I'm almost instantly grenade killed. This is going to be fun. Why did he throw a grenade this time? I don't know. The AI is really weird. You bastard! What? No, stop throwing that grenade. Oh man, I very nearly quick saved myself into, well, a bad place. Hope I can get out of it by moving fast enough. Intruder! Bastard! Stay down! There we go. Yeah! Die! Open wide! There we go, they're all down. Got all the mercs, finally. That's it's gotta be all. Whoa, how did this guy oh he must have been killed by that grenade. No, no skin off my nose. Oh man, I've run out of space for shotgun cartridges too. Oops, I accidentally used a nuke. But I've got like 30 of them, so it doesn't matter. Access granted. How did you get so many nukes? I just don't use them that much. And I'm hacking everything, remember? Like keypads, doors, whatever. The more you hack, the more you get. Because generally you'll get more than you'll spend. Dogato and a Stimmosiever? Again, more world building background stuff. Doesn't seem to be anything interesting in this way. No vents huh? either. So it's neat to see they created like a whole table covered in a cloth just for this room. Oops, I'll be right back. Access granted. I didn't even need to do that. And I accidentally used a stop. I gotta stop. It's so easy to accidentally hit the wrong Access button. Access granted. 